This is the Angry T14. And I'm actually buying, you can see it's a very small bike. But it is a very solid build. It is very solid. It is incredibly heavy. Incredibly heavy. It is foldable. It does fold up. Can unfold it with this clip here. You just push this up. You can unlock it, and it will fold up. It's a nice bike. I mean, I'm six foot, so. Just about get on in. Let's have some nice wheels on it. On it with some nice. It does have some. Nice wheels on it. Do have some nice wheels on here. Quite chunky tires. Quite chunky tires. And they're quite nice disc brakes. It's got some nice decent pedals which you can fold up if you pull that clip in. You can fold them over. Which is quite nice. It's got quite a big motor on the back. It's 250 watts, road legal. It's got a seat on the back, which is not ideal because you can't put any panniers on it. There's no slots for panniers, which is a little bit disappointing, I suppose. This fender's a plastic, but it does have some. And it's got three shock absorbers, which are all right. Now to turn the bike on, you have to come to the front. I can to turn the... Well... Like it comes with this, this, it comes with this 48 watt battery, 48 volt, 10 AH battery. Now I thought it was a silverfish battery at first, but actually it isn't. That is a silverfish battery. And the discharge points are at the bottom. Right? This isn't, it looks like a silverfish battery, but it isn't. The discharge points at the bottom are not there. The discharge point is at the side here. You have to put this on the bag. So let me put it on the bag. So this does come with like a charger. But I call this, I call, it does come with a charger. I call this a loud charger. It's got a fan on it. When you plug this in, the fan goes constantly until the battery is charged. Which, I find, if you've got this in your bedroom, it's incredibly annoying. <laughs> but it does charge, it's a nice charger. So let me put the battery on the bag. It's not difficult to get on. There is a key on here. So you, this locks the, locks the battery onto the bag. You have to lift the seat. And slide it onto the rail. Lock it in place. And then connect it up. So it's 
So to use the bike, you have to, to use the bike, you have to turn the key on. And then the light is come on the front here. If you turn the light, if you turn that on again, if you turn the key again, then the light on the front comes off. But I don't want the light on, so just turn that on. I mean, it is on now. So I can lift the wheel. And it does have a throttle on here, Lee. You do get like a nice multi tool with it, which is quite nice. Come with you. Here's some instructions. You also get a bell, which I'm not sure how I use. I'm going to get this back. It's got all the stuff, which, I mean, okay for nothing.